My guest on today's show is Mary Miles, an attorney and the founding partner of the law offices of Maria C. Miles, an entertainment law firm with offices in New York. Her practice focuses on all areas of entertainment law, including film, music, publishing and media. As well as serving on the board of the New York Women in Film and Television, she is also on the board of the Hellenic Film Society USA. In fact, her credentials are so impressive, we could be chatting about them all day. But it's the Hellenic Film Society USA and the New York Greek Film Expo 2023 that has brought us together for the show. I'm pleased to welcome Mary Miles. How are you keeping and thank you for joining me all the way from New York. Paul, the pleasure is mine, and thank you for having a, having oh. us on and giving us this opportunity to speak about our, our expo, our film festival. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you for uh, joining me. I know it's, uh, oh, it's 11 o'clock now, isn't it, I think, in New York? It, indeed it is. And what's it like over there at the moment? Well, we've had torrential rains, as you may have seen on, on mm. the news, but today is, it seems like a lovely day, and, and the temperature's rising a bit, so it, a little reprieve from the last week's disasters. Yes, definitely. Right, well, if you could tell us a little bit about the Hellenic Film Society. It'd be my pleasure. Um, The Hellenic Film Society is a not-for-profit organization, and our mission is to uh, bring Greek culture and spread it in our area throughout the U.S. and hopefully the world through all these new media um, endeavors, um, and particularly spreading Greek culture through its film. And it's been a wonderful experience. Um, we were founded uh, by uh, an, a few select wonderful people, but our, our current president, our only president to date for that matter, uh, James Demetro, lovingly known as Jimmy, has been a trailblazer in um, the New York area for decades now um, for Greek cinema. Yeah. And he's been mounting a festival here in New York for for a very, very long time. And yeah. so he thought it would be great to have a designated organization, such as the Hellenic Film Society, that only focuses on this particular endeavor. And we are able to offer programs throughout the year um, on different aspects of film mm-hmm. and in through different media and locations. Yeah. And it's been a wonderful outreach. We're a volunteer organization. We do this with all our heart. And we enjoy bringing these wonderful Greek films to our audiences. That's great. Because I think it's important, isn't it, really, to get the not only the, the Greek community in America or in Great Britain together, but around the world and bring them all together. You know, because obviously there's a lot of um, communities around the world, uh, Greek communities, and it seems to give them a sense of... Uh, togetherness and bringing them back home so to speak absolutely it it, it, the greek american community has been very supportive of us uh, but it's also reaching non-greeks that's very important and uniting the greeks throughout the diaspora right there's so many i always say greeks greece's number one expert is its export is its people exactly um and it's been such a joy during the pandemic, we pivoted a bit because we mm. couldn't meet in person and have a festival. Yeah. So we went online for a bit for a couple of years there. And we had people from Dubai and Australia and the UK, of course, was heavily yeah. represented. Germany. There were countries all over the world that mm. wanted Greek film and that were of Greek descent and loved it. Yeah. And it, it's a way for all of us in the, all the corners of the world to bond together in our culture, but also to see how Greece is changing. It's a reflection of Greek society. If our parents or grandparents left, our our connection to Greece is frozen in time through their eyes. But it's yeah, nice course. to discover what Greece is today. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a bit like the, the radio show I'm doing that you're on now. Like I say, this goes out to communities around the world, you know, such as Australia, like you mentioned, um, South Africa, Hungary. And, you know, it's just not based in one area. It, it's spreading the word. It, it's been wonderfully received, and we're, we're, we love it when we hear from people from um, places everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you know, down the block or uh, across, across the, world. the ocean. So it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it is, it is. And how did you get involved with the Hellenic Film Society? Uh, so I've known Jimmy for many years, yeah. and as an entertainment lawyer, I've been working in film and television. Um, for a couple of decades now okay. and 
he just thought it would be a natural fit between my my culture and my profession to merge the two together. Yeah. And it's been one of the greatest joys and um, wonderful experiences that I've had. And like I said, we touched a little bit on, you know, the, the Greek cinema and bringing the communities together. What makes Greek cinema unique to yourself? Well, we invented drama, right? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I you like did. to start there. Um, but I, I think we have such an extraordinarily rich culture of art. Yeah. Going back to the ancient times, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reimagination, right? Nothing should stay the same. I mean, Greeks trailblaze and are inspired by their history and yeah. inspired by what's going on around them. Of course. Cool. Um, and the world. And so it's a very interesting uh, perspective to see films through a different lens you know we're used to the hollywood machine yeah uh, giving us culture and uh giving us our political and social framework uh, sometimes good sometimes not so good yeah, and course. so it's very interesting to see it from a different cultural perspective and it happens to be our cultural perspective which is really nice yeah that's good and i love hearing the language right like how do we how does how has Greek evolved? It's not the mm. Greek your grandparents or parents spoke. It's a bit different. The Greek slang is a bit different. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we should keep alive that that fades away with generations when we're outside of the country. And it's something that we really should cling to because it's such a beautiful language. And yeah. when you really understand it well, uh, it's, it's extraordinary. It is, like I say, at the moment, on my show, I'm doing Greek lessons uh, with my business partner. and That's amazing. You know, but uh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's not, uh, put this way, I could order something probably on the menu. So it's not going it, further than that It's not yet. easy learning any new language, no. so I give you a lot of credit. Thank you. And this year's expo, uh, what exactly are the dates? So the dates for this year's expo, we, we launched this Thursday, October 5th. Okay. With a wonderful uh, film called Blackstone. That's our opening night right. with a reception to follow. Okay. And we go through uh, Sunday, October 8th. Those uh, showings will be at Village East Cinema in Manhattan. Okay. We've got two stops in New Jersey, Monday and Tuesday. Um, for, for those who don't want to drive over a bridge or through a tunnel to reach yeah, us that's it. Um, we'll forgive you this one time and come <laughs> to you and then we've got a wonderful lineup uh, with a Renos Haralabidis retrospective at the Museum of Moving Image Yeah. Um, the weekend of the 13th, uh, 14th and 15th actually 13th, 14th and 15th which is, includes the Friday Yeah. and we have wonderful events throughout the week also we have panel discussions Q and A's with our filmmakers. Um, a number of them, uh, actors and directors, are coming from Greece. Yeah. So there'll be some Q and A's after their film show uh, in Manhattan and in New Jersey. And we will have a wonderful masterclass Friday morning at the Players Club in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And uh, then off we go to the Museum of Moving Image over the weekend, and again Q and A's and panel discussions, as well as the Renos retrospective. So it's very packed, yeah. um, very fun, and I hope everyone comes and enjoys it. Yeah, I think they will. Like I say, it's uh, building up momentum on social media as well, isn't it? Well, that's the plan. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. And I will definitely do my best to start spreading it as well. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. And when we talk, go back to, uh, is it Reynos uh, Retrospective? Well, he is a well-known actor, isn't he? Yes, he has been in the Greek... Uh, film world in Greek cinema for a very long time. Yeah. And he is one of the, you know, and we call people triple threats if they can act, dance, and sing. Yeah. Well, he's kind of like a quadruple threat, if you will. He writes, directs, acts, and is a musician. And in fact, he did all of those things in yeah. two of his films in Cheap Smokes and Black Suits. So he's extraordinarily talented and gifted. Yeah. He's always an enigma to watch in a film. He, he changes and he's a chameleon. Um, and interestingly enough, he's the first director to have a Greek director to have a film turned into a musical by the Greek National Opera. Okay. 
So he's definitely uh, creative in that way, you know, where he can, like you say, change into different roles and things like that. Yes, and, and he's so knowledgeable and he enjoys um, relaying all his knowledge to people. And we're going to have some great events with him. There's a great party at Hannah House where okay. uh, in Brooklyn on Thursday night um, where he will be there and people can get a more casual conversation going perhaps. Yeah, of course. Um, but the Friday master class at the Players Club, I think, will really he'll be able to dive into his his knowledge and experience and really share a lot with us that'd be great we'll have to try and get him on the show after all the uh, expo's finished i'm sure he would love it great and you can join us as well at the same time oh thank you so you you can help me with the greek (laughs) and things like that so like i say finally i will try and share everything on social media well we can't thank you enough it's your your pleasure and you're reaching such a great audience and Thank you. your work is so important to keeping um, all of us together yeah, and uh, creating a platform for us to connect with each other. And through film, you know, through our festival, yeah. we hope to reach as many people. And we also have other events throughout the year for those of you who can't come to the festival. Yeah. Um, whether you live in New York or visiting New York, we have a screening at the Museum of Moving Image once a year. Uh, sorry, okay. not once a year, once a month. Okay. And um, it, we call it the Always on Sunday series, which I think is very catchy. It is definitely catchy, that. Yeah, and um, and then we have special events and screenings throughout the year. Yeah. So definitely check us out on our website, www.hellenicfilmusa.org, O-R-G. Brilliant. Um, where you can see an entire schedule of events. You can see all our uh, trailers for all the films showing at this year's festival. Yeah. We have some wonderful partners, um, great sponsors, and I think it's going to be a great year. I'm really looking forward to all these discussions and, and Q&As, and, and the films are fantastic. Yeah, like I said, I've looked on the website, and it is fascinating. It's a diverse range of films. It we is. have films of an overbearing Greek mother yeah. to uh, a hearing-impaired woman, which is wonderful to actually see um, a representation on screen of the hearing-impaired. Yeah. And uh, it's it's the actress is hearing; she is not impaired in any way, and had to learn sign language for the role, which okay. is an amazing. That feat. is, yeah, it's amazing. Um, and we've, I mean, the films are great. An ensemble cast in Dodo, which has won so many awards and prizes, yeah. and it goes on and on from there. So we welcome everyone, yeah. and please stop by and say hello if you if you heard me. Look for me; I'll, I'd love to. See meet everyone that um is listening brilliant Brilliant. and and we welcome you with open arms and lots of fun and maybe some popcorn (laughs) definitely the popcorn that'll sway as well won't it the popcorn excellent excellent (laughs) if but nothing else the popcorn the popcorn will work for everybody like i say you're doing a marvelous job in bringing the communities together the great communities together so i can only applaud you on that so i'd like to say thank you for being on a guest on the show and hopefully i look forward to speaking to you soon Thank you very much. And uh, you know where you're coming next time you're in New York, right? I know definitely where you're I'm coming. You're going to come watch some Greek movies. <laughs> I definitely watch some Greek movies. Hopefully me, uh, me Greek language is uh, up to speed by then. We've got subtitles, don't worry. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. I'll make sure I'll bring me glasses. Yes, yes. Brilliant. I can't help you with that. <laughs> no, that's great, Mary. Well, thanks again. You know, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye.